Hey, you guys, S.E.K. the Homesteader here with a, a beehive checkup, you guys. Um, so it's been one, about a full week of the installation of my uh, bee package. And the bees are working, you guys. Um, it's just an awesome thing to watch them work and come in with their pollen sacks on their legs. It just tickles me. So um, probably... Um, during the middle of the week, I will um, open up and and check for my uh, queen that is marked this time. Last year, I had um, a nook and a package um, bees, which um, I didn't have um, success with. So I, I'm going to give it a go again. And um, I plan on giving it a go until I learn <laughs> this craft of beekeeping. So I'm not going to give up. Um, and it, this is a lifelong um, learning process on beekeeping. So um, I plan on learning a lot. I learned a lot last year. And I plan on learning a lot this year. But um, again, last year my my queens was not marked. So I made it my business to make sure I get my queen marked this time. So she is in there. I know she's in there because of the activity. Um, when you are uh, installing your, your package bees, they do suggest that you you come back and, and check for her, make sure she's laying um, her eggs, make sure the workers are doing what they need to do. And um, But for the most part, uh, they tell you that as long as you see your bees working, that queen is fine and she is in there. So, um, I'm not going to rush to check for her, but like I said, this coming week will be going into my second week and I definitely want to make sure that my eyes get trained to recognize her. Um, and you know, when I watch a lot of videos, um, teaching videos you you can recognize your queen if she is marked and some people eyes are trained for the professional beekeepers um that have been doing this for probably a lifetime most of their life i am so new to beekeeping this is just my second year of learning but you have to train your eyes to be able to recognize her and just be cautious when you're checking your frames and things of that nature so that your your queen don't accidentally fall and, you know, get hurt or killed, you know, um, and die. So you want to be mindful of that. But um, I will definitely do my best to explain that on my video when I do open up the beehive and check the frames for her. So, again, you have to develop that eye for her. <laughs> So um, this is what it's looking like right now. I'm very pleased with the activity. I've been watching them for a couple of days now, and they seem to be um, really content. You want to definitely uh, keep up with your sugar water. And um, last year we did do uh, bee pollen patties as well. And I'm definitely, when I open this up, I will definitely add some uh, bee pollen patty um, to make sure they do have enough feed. Uh, some people, oh, this one is just loaded. You see his sacks? Oh my gosh. Let me see if I can move in. He he was just loaded. Yeah, he was he was loaded with his little um pollen sacks on his leg. But um, yeah, this is just an awesome thing when you're able to watch your bees work. So, all right, you guys. So I will definitely bring you guys a follow-up um this week on how my queen is my queen is in there producing and i will definitely keep you you guys posted on the activity of the beehive all right you guys so this is sck the homestead i hope everyone is doing well uh happy mother's day to all mother's day is every day but yes happy mother's day to all the queen bees <laughs> all right family peace